اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان علین و رجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم و بہی نستعین و صلی اللہ علی سیدنا محمد و اہل بیته تیبین الطاہرین اللہم صلی علی محمد و آلی محمد و عجل فرجہم In the previous chapter we discussed that Abdul Hussein returned from the battlefront severely wounded and Mr. Ghazali visited him and at the same time the roof started leaking. He later on sent an officer to fetch Abdul Hussein to his office and the officer came to Abdul Hussein's home and took him along with him. Now his wife continues to explain the matter as follows. Abdul Hussein returned from Mr. Ghazali's office and was quite worried and I was wondering all along about what is going on and what's all this about. Finally I asked him What was the matter? Why did he call you? He replied sighing deeply, Nothing. Mr. Ghazali has prohibited me from going to the battlefield. I asked him totally surprised, He prohibited you from going to the battlefield? But why? He replied, Yes, he prohibited me. He said, Till I get the house fixed, I am not permitted to go to the battlefront. Then I asked, What else did he say? Abdul Hussain said, Mr. Ghazali wanted to know if you are pleased and happy with the current life or not. And I told him that you are pretty happy with it. All I wanted to know was, will the house be fixed or not? So I asked Abdul Hussain, what else did he say? He replied, nothing much, the same thing, that until the house is fixed, I'm not permitted to go to the battlefront. Then he went into a deep thought and said, if someone comes from the office inquiring about the house, tell them that we are happy with our current condition. And you can tell them that you yourself bought the house and you're pretty happy with it and want to stay in it. I felt upset. And in an upset tone, I asked him, but why would I say such a thing to them? He replied, they want to give me money for the home repair, and I don't want to take that money. I did not want to interrupt him. Staying with him for so long, I knew him very well. He always tried to submit himself to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sometime later, few people visited us from IRGC, and they had a bag with them. When everyone sat down, one of them opened the bag and placed a bundle of money in front of Abdul Hussain. My heart skipped a beat. I never expected to see so much money, and I did not know how would Abdul Hussain react to this. He stared at the money for a little while, and it was clear from his eyes that he has made up his mind. Suddenly, he picked up all the money and put it back in the bag. I was shocked, and the officers were equally shocked. Then Abdul Hussain said sternly, This money is from Baitul Mal, and I don't want even a little bit that my kids live a peaceful life with this money. One of them said, but, Abdul Hussain replied, no ifs or buts, my family is going to stay in this very house in this very condition. One of them said, what would we reply to Mr. Ghazali? He said, tell him that I will work out something and get the house fixed. A few days had passed and he had recovered well. However, he was not in the condition to work. When I came to know that he wanted to demolish one section of the house, I couldn't believe myself. I thought he must be kidding. However, he replied, I'm serious about it. However, you're not in a condition to do construction work, I replied. He said, we will build a house with the help of Imam Zamana Jalallahu ta'ala Farajal Sharif. My words had no effect on him. He started the construction work the same day. He demolished one section of the house and with the help of his friends, he built two rooms for us. A couple of days later, it started raining heavily. We were all staring at the roof. However, there was no sign of leakage. I knew that he was very professional in his work. I told him that now that you are fully recovered and you are leaving for the battlefront, however, when you return the next time, please construct the rest of the house as well. He replied, Insha'Allah. We had not yet settled in the new rooms yet and suddenly we heard a loud noise in the open area. We all ran out to see what happened and we saw that the part of the boundary wall collapsed. I turned towards Abdul Hussain and was waiting for his reaction. He smiled and said, when I come back the next time, I will fix this as well. Then I replied, you come for just five or six days and in these few days, nothing can be done. You can't build everything here. He then replied that next time I will come for 20 days and reconstruct the whole house. Inshallah, rest of the content will be covered in the next chapter. Until then, al-tamasa dua, khuda hafiz.